How do harmonic tones get out of tune on a brass instrument? In a video I saw, a guy was reviewing a prototype trombone, and he said that the high F is out of tune, the sixth overtone. I don't understand how a fixed length of tubing first position can produce a out of tune overtone. For what I know, I was taught that a overtone's pitch is related to the length of tubing and that they are slightly out of tune by always a constant amount. While the total length of a B-flat instrument is basically fixed, the ratio of conical to cylindrical piping is not set in stone for a trombone. It is true that the sixth partial is generally quite sharp, and needs to be lowered. There are several components that can affect the partials relative to one another, including, mouthpiece cup depth lead pipe, venturi, taper shape and speed overall mouthpiece length overall slide length bore size of the slide speed of the taper in the neckpipe speed of the taper in the tuning slide how far out the tuning slide is pulled shape of the bell stem overall length of the bell section There are some specific examples between variations in models that one can test, for example, a Bach 42 slide is overall around an inch longer than a Shires or an Edwards tenor slide. The stock tuning slide on a Shires has a taper that differs from many other trombones and often fixes the D in the fifth partial so it is nearly the same as B flat in the fourth partial. The reason for this is so the D in the tenth partial is in a position closer to first. This is achieved by having a taper of a particular shape, that said, the easiest way to test is to push your tuning slide all the way in and compensate with your handslide. Observe how far out the different partials are. Then, pull your tuning slide all the way out. You will usually find an exaggerated version of the pushed all the way in. This is due to having a longer overall length and possibly some additional taper tubing put into play depending on if the horn has a reverse tuning slide or not. Note that tis tuning in slide horns generally do not have such a variation. This is because the mechanism in the slide is during the conical section. Further addition of length of the instrument which has a uniform bore size does not alter the ratio of conical to cylindrical tubing and therefore the effect upon the overtone series is diminished if not eliminated. However, horns like this are not very common when compared to tuning in bell horns but I believe the merits, demerits of bell versus slide tuning are out of the scope of this question, so when someone says that a particular partial is out of tune, what it means is that it is more out of tune than it usually would be. So while these partials are nearly universally out of tune, the degree to which each one is out of tune to one another is not fixed between horn to horn. Nor, actually, on the same horn in different positions. As you move the slide out, the bore size of the instrument increases. In seventh position, on a horn with no F attachment, there are several feet of additional tubing of the inner diameter of the outer slide which is much larger than the inner diameter of the inner slide. Combined that the further out the slide is, the lower the base partial is, so positions get wider the farther you go out. So in 7th position, you would expect to have an exaggerated difference if you were to play, say, a B natural in the 6th partial versus playing an F in the 6th partial.